Okay, I'm going to tighten the head bolts. Uh, before I start the compressor, I'm going to tighten it to 22 Newton meters. And after uh, I run it uh, for the 10 minute break in, I will tighten it to 27 Newton meters. Uh, the min max in, in the manual says uh, it's 22 and 27 for the min and max. So I decided that for, for uh, the pre maintenance run, I'll make sure it's at 22 and when it's done I'll tighten it to the max which is 27 so the pattern I'm going to use is I'm going to tighten uh, the bolts in the middle and move outwards it's a six millimeter hex okay that's tight at least 22 here that's tight That's tight. Okay, the this one is loose. It moved a little bit. I shouldn't say loose, but it was not at not at twenty two newton meters. This one moved a bit. This this one, which is my lower right. Uh, was the most loose. So the center ones were tight. Uh, this one was the most loose. This one's the second and this is the third. So to get uh, to figure or to uh, so you guys can see what the orientation is. This is the front of the compressor. Okay. Now I'm going to run the compressor for 10 minutes and then I'll tighten it to 27 newton meter. Alright, for the maintenance run, you're supposed to turn the regulator full clock, fully clockwise. Okay, seems to be fully clockwise. You're supposed to open the drain cock down here. Okay, I think it's down, so I made it. I need to point down, so hopefully I got that one right. I'm pointing that down. And then I just turn it on for 10 minutes. Okay, I also have a fitting here to let the air escape when I turn the motor on. I just turned it on a few seconds to make sure it didn't wake my uh, little daughter up upstairs. And if this thing is really quiet compared to the Craftsman um, compressor I have, which is here. Uh, I'll turn that one on later to see how uh, to show you how loud this thing is. It's an oilless compressor, but this thing is really loud. That is really loud, sorry. And this thing is really quiet. It may sound loud on the video because um, I guess, um, you know, that's all you hear, but here it goes. I just ran the uh, compressor for 10 minutes uh, for the break-in and uh, I'm going to retorque the head bolt to 26 newton meter. I was going to do 27 but I decided to be safe and just uh, torque it to 26. Uh, I torqued the head bolt right before I started uh, the break-in at 22 newton meter. Okay, the centers are the centers are tight. Let's do the edge. This one didn't move before. Cool to the touch. Okay, that one didn't move much. This one was the second loosest head bolt. 
That one moved a bit. This one was the most loose. I bet you this will probably move. Yep. All right, so all the head bolts are at 26 newton meter. The center ones seem to be tight. They have not moved. The outer bolts seem to be loose uh, in, in this order, one, two, three. This one is pretty tight. All right. The head bolts have been retorqued to 26 newton meters. Next thing to do is change the oil after the break in. What I want to do is probably just uh, fill the tank up and see how long it takes to fill up.